So today on Techno Dad Life, we're going to be installing MB, which is a Plex alternative, which I actually found when I did this, I actually like better than Plex. So I'll be switching to that now. And of course, as always, make sure you like and subscribe if you found this helpful. And here we go now. Okay, we start by going to Docker. And then in the search bar, we're going to click MB. And we're going to click on the first one, the official MB media server. Click Start. And then click Close when that is done. Then click on the MB media server. First click Info. And so we're going to need some of the information here. And next, we're going to go back to our MB media server. Oh, but before we do that, we need our GID and our UID. And you can find those by going to Shell in the Box. Click Web Client. Click Advanced. Proceed. Log in as root. Type in your password. Then you're going to type ID and then your username. My user is user1. So for us, the UID is 1000, the GID is 100. We're going to go back to Open Media Vaults, go back to Docker. We're going to click on the MB server, run image. We're going to name the container MB. Restart policy always. Host adapter. So for the UID, for me it was 1000, and then click commit. The GID was 100, click commit. And then the GID list, we're going to put also 100, and commit. Next we're going to go down to the container path. We're going to put a forward slash for config. And so what we need to do now is make a folder for MB in our app data folder. So we're going to click on our network. Here is the Open Media Vaults uh, folder. I'm going to double click on app data. We're going to add a new folder. We're going to call that MB and go down there. If you don't have a shared folder, then look at the shared folders video. I'll put a link to it in the top right and in the description below. Now click on host path, go to shared folders, app data, click on MB, OK. Hit the plus sign. And for the next thing, we need to go to our information from the MB page. And we're going to copy mount share one. Go back to our Docker container. We're going to paste that in the path here. And then we're going to go back to our shared folders. And we're going to click on media and OK. And then hit the plus sign. And then that is all we need for this container. So we'll click save. We need to find out where we go into. So we're going to type in our server IP address plus 8096. So first we're going to get our server IP address. Copy that. Paste that there, then do a colon 8096, then hit enter, and that logs us into MB. And so first we're going to pick out our language, and for me it's English, United States. Uh, I don't have a MB account or user, but if you do, that's where you would put it in for right now. You need this in order to connect, say, your cell phone or your iPad, things like that, to your MB account. So I would definitely do it. So now we're going to add a media library. And so you click on that. We're going to click Movies. And then click on this plus sign next to the folders. And now we're going to scroll down to Mount Share 1, which we pasted in before. And there you can see is our Movies folder. And then we're going to click OK. And OK. Now our movies folder is added. So now we'll do the same things for music. And then TV. 
And let's see, I don't remember if we have a books on here, but we'll take a look. Oh, there's books. And okay. And then you click OK. And so there we have our basic books, movie, movies, music, TV added. Click Next. And then uh, your preferred language and country. Next. Allow remote connections. And then I accept the terms of service. Next. And then it tells you about the different apps it has. And I would definitely suggest getting some of those. Then Finish. And then it logs you in on this server. I don't actually have any anything at all, so there is nothing here. But if you do have a library, your library will show up here. And now we switch over to my other server, which does have some media on it. And you can see this is what it looks like. Make sure you like, like and subscribe, and that's it for today.